Ambrose, I'll tell you what I told the Rangers Council. That if the Lightbeards are frauds, then their movement will lose steam. But if there's any substance in the movement, there's nothing we can do to stop it. Ranger Gamble, I know I'm not a full Ranger yet, but this is already the most important thing in the world to me. These Lightbeards are telling us not to chop down trees. We're lumberjacks. It's what we do. You're my prize student, and you're smart. Don't act dumb. They haven't said not to cut down trees. They've just said maybe there's more to life than cutting down trees. And don't you think there's a little truth to that? How can you talk like this, Gamble? Ranger Gamble. Exactly. You're a ranger. You stand for our traditions, our civilizations. Their lies about father-son can undermine all of that and lead our people astray. Just like that. Steven Silvertip the other day. Well, after your little lynch mob, he won't be leading anyone astray. He was one voice. There are many more like him out there. Gonna have to step up my game if I'm gonna silence them all. What did I ever teach you about Father Son that would make you think that he would want a massacre? Ranger Council is sending me on a mission. They've asked me to round up all the white beards in the province and bring them to justice. The letter was in specific as to how. I'm sending you on a mission. You're not even a sworn ranger yet. They must be pretty desperate to get rid of these harmless light beards of yours. If I get rid of them all, I get my hat and my jacket. So where are you going first? First day, the rest of your life. Oh, I'm so excited for you to embark on our journey. <laughs> oh, hello, fellow travelers. How is it going? I just became a light beard. <laughs> How nice for you. <laughs> it truly is. Let me tell you all about it. You see, I've been chopping trees down my whole life. I guess I never realized what a pointless activity it was. Because the point was never to just chop down trees. The point was to cut things out of our lives that block us from seeing Father's Son and, and feeling his light and warmth fill our hearts. But now his warmth and light can come to rest inside us, right in the very heart of our beards. It, it, in fact, we'd love to share this gift with you if you just take the time. Ah! 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 I'm telling you, he's coming. He's on his way here now. We leave, today. I was in the city when Stephen Silvertip was coned. The dark beard crowd may have thrown the first cone, but it was Sam Rosex Eagleton alone who was the hot spot calling the shots. I agree with Bree. If it were up to me, I'd flee immediately. If we're slow pokes, we'll find ourselves hanging from ropes. To elope is our only hope. What do you say, Antelope? Nope. We'll cope. No stranger to danger, he'll claim the name of Ranger. Oh, oh. hello. Oh. Shiny. 
am. <gasps> Don't hit me. Why do you hate me? Who are you? The guy you hate. Sun Sun? That's impossible. You're dead. This isn't real. How did that feel? Real. Now, Ambrose. Sambrose. Not anymore. Now, Ambrose. That axe of yours. Yeah? Put it down forever. What? Drop your axe and don't ever pick it up again, okay? Drop my axe? I know it's not easy. Son, son. But it's what I want from you. But I'm a lumberjack. This is my life. This is everything I am. And I'm asking you to let go of it forever. It up. But you said... I know. That, that was my life. You told me to let did. go of it forever. So then... Because now you know that it doesn't belong to you. Now I have two more things that I want you to do. Second, I want you to go to Mountaintop. And first... Wake up! I can't see! You... You good people. You take me to Mountaintop. Just take my hand, friend. To danger, who claim the name of Ranger. Please, stop singing that. He then asked us if we could take him to Mountaintop, and then we brought him here. Yeah, that's the part I'm having trouble with. He's the guy that's trying to wipe us all out. Father Son blinds him so that he could never find us without help, and you help him. I say we kill him, quick and easy. Now, I know I'm kind of new to this, but I don't feel like that's what father, son, or son, son would want. Let's kill him! Oh, let's be nice to him. Is someone wearing Old Spice? I was just talking to, you know. What's he say? Someone here is to be the chosen one. The messenger that will tell all of the world, all of lumberjackdom, about father, son, and son, son, and ice heart and about all the warmth and light that can dwell in all who believe. Ambrose X. Eagleton, you have met Sun Sun, and you shall know Father Sun, and you will be the one to make him known. No, seriously, who's it gonna be? The Is that you? The same. Sleep okay? Did you mean what you said last night about, about me having a mission? Every word. Here. Drink up. What is this? A gift. From father's son. Blind, but now I see. <laughs> Whoa! What is in that stuff? He's in that stuff. Say hello to the holy syrup. What 
Is it? That's the sun. What? Okay, look. You got father son. He's up there. He watches over us and loves us. He's just... There. Exactly. So to be with us, he sent Sun Sun. So we could see him and learn from him. The same person, just... Here. Bingo. Okay, what about... Well, it's kind of a long story. Bring in the flannel graph! Sun Sun got chopped down like a common sycamore. He's gone! No! Haven't you heard? The axes release his light on the world. Now we can all have the light of Father Sun inside us, protecting us from ice art. And he came back to life three days later. It's true! No axe could stop him. Now we don't have to be afraid of death either. Sun Sun, we're so glad you're alive. Now you can stay with us forever. No, I have to go back to Father Sun now. But we'd rather have you here. We can see you. You're solid and real. Yes, I'm the fullness of the sun in the body of a lumberjack. But that means I can only be at one place at one time. But when I leave, the Holy Syrup can be with you. And he can be everywhere at once. And that's just what he does. If a lumberjack in Manitoba needs some encouragement, the Holy Syrup is there to whisper it in his ear. If another one in Wisconsin has to talk to a crowd and doesn't have the right words, the Holy Syrup is there to open up a thesaurus. And if Father Son wants to heal someone in Saskatchewan from blindness, it's the Holy Syrup is the one peeling back the beanie. And if Father Son wants to do all these things at exactly the same time, that's no problem for the Holy Syrup. Here. There. Everywhere. Molto bene. So every follower has access to the Holy Syrup. He can be everywhere all the time? Ten points for Gryffindor. So any of us could say, Holy Syrup, set that tree on fire! Oh, Ambrose, he doesn't work for us. He's him. He's around for us because he loves us. And he knows what's best for us. So sometimes we can clearly see him working. And sometimes we know he's there, but we just can't <laughs> prove it. And sometimes we can't see him or feel him. But he's watching. What more could anyone ask for? There's nothing wrong with waffles. But we've always eaten pancakes. Our fathers ate them, and our fathers, 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 we fathers. We get fathers. to experience a freedom they never had to eat waffles and French toast, and yet you cling to pancakes? Friends, and all these things, try to make our choices out of love for each other and for Sun Sun, rather than our desire to be right. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Thank you, Sambros. Sambros. I thought your name was Sambros. It was. Sambros was my name when I was in charge. And now, my name is Ambrose. And Ambrose, well, he belongs to Father Son. Oh, time for class. Who's going? Oh, I am. Yeah. 
Well handled, Ambrose. You know, John Marco is really coming along. Hello, Mr. Bisquick. Really looking forward to your Sonology seminar then. Don't be late. Yes, John Marco shows promise. I just worry his commitment is shallow. He seems very enthusiastic. But eagerness isn't enough. Hello, Mr. Eagleton. Do you have any homework? No, we're just going to review what I taught you on Thursday. John Marco, his commitment has to go deeper if he's going to make it through the hard times. Maybe you won't have hard times. Maybe you'll get lucky. I've been following Sun Sun's life ever since I got here. There's one thing I've learned. He promised that following him isn't easy. Amazing, but not easy. It's true. See you, Ambrose. Hey, Sticky, what's up? Holy syrup, good to see ya. You got something for me to do? You're sending Ambrose on a journey? Smile. Barbara Smiles is coming with me? Road trip! Why can't you just stay? You're the best teacher here. You're not old and crusty like, uh, no offense. I came to live at Mountaintop for two reasons. To recover from my life of anger and to grow closer to father's son by getting to know him more. I've done those things. But why would you want to leave? We have everything we could want here. This is like the only place you can be a lightbeard and no one bothers you. Father's son wants me out in the world. Doesn't matter if life is easy here. If he's called me away, then it's wrong to stay. <laughs> well, then I hope he never calls me anywhere. Hey, what are you doing? You know what you've been saved from? Yes, Ambrose, I'm sorry. I'll hey, I'm serious, John Marco. We've been saved from Iceheart. We deserve to die. But a God that owes us nothing sacrificed himself so that we could know true life and to make him known to others, not so that we could be more comfortable. This body, this flesh and bone, it wants comfort. It wants security. But you want to know a secret? The body is weak. It wants what's easiest right now, and it will miss out on every adventure outside because it's curled up underneath a blanket. The holy syrup, he knows what's coming. And if we're willing to follow him... Rather than following our weak bodies. Well, then we get to watch history unfold from the front row. To follow Father's Son is the greatest adventure imaginable. He's calling us to danger, to sacrifice. Maybe even death. You know what I feel? I feel lucky. He could have chosen anyone to carry his message. But I get to be the one. Can I come? He's a true path to enlightenment. Deception! Now is the pivotal time in our lives in which our careers will be determined by our marks. One must devote oneself to academic achievement. <laughs> Nerds! False, false, it is family first. My colleague speaks the truth. Family is number one. All other paths are number two or lower. Sports! Schools! Family! Hear us. I see you have a spot for the unknown thing. A mystery. I know who that thing is. I know him personally. And I can tell you from experience that all these other paths are incomplete. Because the one that belongs on this pedestal has a certain special something. You're not going to sing, are you? You're darn right I am. Lumberjacks and lumberjills gather all around and thrill to the mystery I bring to set you free. 
You see the one we've sat and waited on, begotten one of father's son. He died, yet he survived, and now his work is done. See, in the middle of your little heart, it's dark and cold and it'll chill and kill and really will bode quite ill. But he was born and came and died and he poured his flame and light and heat. So let his name inside and you will be set free. Oh, that's the mystery. Tell me more. And yet before that, we went to Cypress Hill. Insane. Yes, but our journey all began at Mountaintop. So where does it end? Where are you going? Everywhere. Well then, who exactly are you trying to reach? Everyone. Basta Hawaii? <laughs> the Sox play at Fenway Park? Not on this guy. <laughs> Look, there's a sign. Do you guys want to hear about Sun Sun? Of course uh, we do, bruh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. No way. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> but it's not an idea. It's really, it's, 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 it's Lower in Denmark. <laughs> Air Zealand! Pack of Stanford. Mexi Texas! Hey, is this Mexi Texas? Well, hola, howdy, amigo partners! Well, our sign is pretty big! Mucho grande! Hey, <laughs> have you heard about Sun Sun? Eh, come on! Gather yeah, come here. We gotta go! I think one of my axes is this year. Disney Paul! Africana! Eh? <laughs> Argentina, Namibia, Afghanistan, North Colorado, Dominican Republic! <laughs> I assure you, we speak the truth. That's just what a liar would say. If you give us a moment, we have a song we'd like to sing that clearly explains it. Oh, here we go again. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing this song again. Whatever may pass or may ever lie before us. May we be singing when the evening comes. Who was singing? Who was singing? No more singing. No more singing. I hate singing. We're sorry. We're happy to stop if that'll make you happy. Yeah, we don't mean to be a bother. Stop being so pleasant. Yes, sir. Happy to oblige. Uh, sir. Sir, just want you to know you're doing a really great job. Okay, how is it that you can be in such a good mood all the time? Actually, I got a song that explains how we could have so much hope. Goes a little something like... <laughs> Not the time. Now, I'd heard things weren't real great for you in all the other places you've been. 
But you come here and you get your first real taste of rejection, real backlash. And, and you're still all shiny? <laughs> you think this is the first time we've been trampled by an angry mob? Brother, sit back and relax. Do we have some stories for you? isn't he? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Are you insane? You've been coned, punched, kicked, choked, mobbed, beaten with sticks, and thrown into prison? And it happens just about every time you go to a new city? How can you be so joyful about that? Well, it's because we have the sun to cling to. Father, son, and holy syrup. And you cling to him in the bad times? Bad times? Good times? All times. We love Father Son, and we want the world to know. So we'll go from city to city to let everyone know how wonderful he is. Sometimes they hear our message and accept it with joy, and that's great. Sometimes they try to kill us with sticks. But in every city, whether we're hugged or sucker punched, by the time we leave, there are people following Father Son, letting him melt the ice in their hearts. And we get to be a part of that. Better reason is there to be happy in life. Sir? Mr. Jailer? Mr. Jailer? <sighs> well, good night, Barbara. Good night, Mr. Jailer. Good night, Mr. Jailer. Good night, Ambrose. <sighs> good night, Father Son. Good night, Son Son. <sighs> Good night, Sticky. Sticky? Prison break! Prison break! Prison break! Prison break! They're gonna kill me when they see all the prisoners are gone. I gotta. I gotta end it myself. Whoa, whoa, no, hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, everybody's still here. Stay. Good jailer. But you didn't. The doors, your chains. Why? Because there are more important things than our comfort. Father's son is the most important thing in the world to us. The most important thing in the world to him is you. And. Hey, it's really not working for us. Not the season for it. You matter to him so much. So if reaching your heart means we have to go through pain in prison, then done. I think I want to know more about this father-son. Well, there's just so much to say. I just can't put it into words. Lucky for you, I know this song. Going to the 
part of the Lumberjack Empire? How am I even gonna get there? You're gonna get me there, aren't you? my friend was going on a suicide mission. It's not a suicide mission. The Maple Leaf Fortress is the deadliest place in the world for a Lightbeard. To even get there, you have to go home to Redwood Camp first. And last time I checked, for everyone in Redwood Camp wants you dead. Yeah, things are gonna get difficult. <laughs> Ever since you became a Lightbeard, your life's gone from bad to worse. You've been threatened, beaten, coned, thrown in prison over and over. If I wanted an easy life, I could have stayed at Mountaintop. It's not about being comfortable and safe. You wanted to follow us because you wanted the adventure. You bailed on us because you were afraid of dying. And you're not afraid of dying? I let go of my life a long time ago. That axe of yours. Put it down forever. Now you know that it doesn't belong to you. It can't be about me. Ever. If I'm alive, then I'm living for Sun Sun. I get killed in the process, then I get to be with him forever. Where's the downside, kid? Sing yard of Ambrose, ex Eagleton. Sent on a quest to the Maple Leaf for no ticket, no plane, and no passport. So first he must go to a place he knows. It's the Redwood Camp for Ambrose. To the Redwood Camp he goes. Welcome to Redwood Camp, stranger. I'm no stranger to these parts. You do look kind of familiar. Last time I was here, my name was Sambrose. Now. It's Ambrose, friend. Now I remember. Hey, fellas, that's that Lightbeard who was causing all that trouble. Hooray! Let's kill him! Yeah, let's drop a tree on him. Not on my watch, gentlemen. I am afraid your well-laid plans will have to wait. Cause Trooper Stafford's here and he's dressed to the nine. So if you're cruising for a bruising, get in line. That's right, citizens. He's protected under the law of this empire. Sir, I'm going to escort you away for your own protection. Would you mind if I said a few words first? Well, what harm could it do? You sure? Okay. Lumberjacks and lumberjills gather all around and thrill to the mystery we bring to set you free. You see, the one we've sat and waited on, begotten one of father's son, died and yet survived, and now his work is done. See, in the middle of your little heart, it's dark and cold and it'll chill and kill and really will bode quite ill. But he was born and came and died and he poured his flame and light and heat, so let his name inside and you will be set Free. Oh, that's the mystery. You know, it really makes you think. Really? No, let's kill him. I'm going to have to take this before the local authorities to the Ranger Council. Curtain. <laughs> Oh, 
So tempers flared and the mob prepared to scare and snare and rip the hair from the scalp of the friend of the father's son. That's Ambrose, ex Eagleton. So Trooper Stafford helped him flee into protective custody, where he'd answer to the authorities. What will their decision be? We'll just have to wait and see. You caused quite a stir, sir, and I demand to understand what you vowed or did to cause the crowd to flip their lid just now. You want to know exactly what I said? Each word that I uttered? Good sir, did I stutter? Well, you're the boss. Lumberjacks and lumberjills gather all around and thrill to the mystery of bring descent. You free, you see the one we've sat and waited on, begotten one of father's son, died and yet survived, and now his work is done. See in the middle of your little heart, it's dark and cold and it'll chill and kill and really will vote quite ill. But he was born and came, died, and he poured his flame and light, and he so let his name inside, and you will be set free. Oh, that's the mystery. We're almost done here. We just want to ask you a question. He's not safe here. There's no way you despots are going to give him a fair hearing. So where are you taking him? I'm taking him to my commanding officer at Moosehead Mountain. <laughs> So Trooper Stafford traveled forth, left Redwood camp behind and swore he would reach Moosehead Mountain with Ambrose ex Eagleton. For when that fort there's a man of wits who could sort out this disagreement, his name is Trooper Felix, so what will come of this? Will he convict or acquit? Sorry, sir, please pardon me. This man was threatened, beaten, and maimed for things he had proclaimed. A troublemaker, eh? Uh, sir, this is not a violent man. Not all weapons have blades or bullets. So, what was your weapon of choice, young fellow? What ideas did you unleash on Redwood Camp? Well? Speak up! Well? The lumberjacks and lumberjills gather all around and thrill to the mystery I bring to set you free. You see, the one we sat and waited on, begotten one of father, son, died and yet survived. And now his work is done. See, in the middle of your little heart, it's dark and cold and chill and kill and really with folk quite ill. He was born, came and died, and he poured his flame and light and he to let his name inside and he would be set free. Oh, that's the mystery. Well. You may be insane, but you're no criminal. This is all very complicated. Let someone else handle it. I've even got a place to keep you in the meantime. Prison. I'll be okay. If this is where the sun wants me, I'm cool with it. Years that have come and gone, a brand new chief trooper has come, and he'll check out all those in prison like Ambrose, ex Eagleton. Ambrose hasn't forgotten the point of his expedition, was to follow the holy syrup switch to the maple leaf fortress. Rhyming is really difficult. Mr. Eagleton? What happened to the other guy? Ranger Felix was transferred, so Ranger Cletus here has come to replace him. He'll be reviewing your case. Mr. Eagleberry, I'm having difficulty understanding what you did or said that landed you in prison. Well, sir, I remember the words exactly. It seems you haven't even been convicted of a crime. Only a crime of passion. Passion for father's son. 
You weren't even accused of any particular crime. Strange. Not as strange as my life before I met Father Son. See? I've got a song that I could clip. Let's not get sidetracked. I'd rather stick to the matter at hand. What's the deal here, Sticky? This guy won't even let me sing. How am I supposed to go to Maple Leaf Fortress and tell him about Sun Sun if this guy won't let me sing? Trust me. I do. Hey, wait, you can talk? And since it's clear that you never actually did anything wrong, you're a free man. Now I just have to file this paperwork to send you all the way back to... Ah, Uba Dooba! Uh, son, I'm trying to tell you that you're free to go! I demand to speak to the head moose! <laughs> No, no, the, the Grand Trooper? Tr grand Trooper! I was about to let you go. You would have been free. But now that you've mentioned the Grand Trooper, I'm legally required to send you to him. <laughs> Mountains of paperwork. And if he doesn't like you, he can sentence you to death. And to even meet him, you have to go all the way to the Maple Leaf Fortress. <laughs> nice. Okay, moron, you're going to the Maple Leaf Fortress to meet the Grand Trooper. What are you even going to say to him? Well, I was hoping you would ask. The lumberjacks and lumberjills gather all around the thrill. Two of the mystery he brings set you free. See, the one is out waiting on beyond one father's son died yet survived. Now his work is done. See, See in the middle of your little hog stock, little 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 the people living in that land extended them a helping hand, loaned them a boat, and they sailed again away to the journeys. And whoa! And when he arrived here in the Maple Leaf Fortress, they handcuffed him, and they forbade him to leave the town. And now he stays here but his advice goes all over the world. How does he do that? Any way that he can. Take this to our friends in North to Kansas. Sir, this is from your little buddy Timmy in SFF. Apparently the light beards there still won't take him seriously. Why? Same as always. He's too young. young. Yeah, I got it. I'll take care of it, thanks. Sparky, this one's headed your way. I hope you're ready to travel. Now, what to say to Timmy? Hmm. Don't let anyone look down on you for being young. I know that it wasn't your idea for them not to take you seriously, but I mean, don't ever give them a reason to look down on you. If you're the one that's setting an example of how you talk, how you live, how you love, believe, and treat people, they won't have any opportunity to look down on you. Don't worry, Skip. It's just my icon. 
Yo, Keith! Hey, good to hear from you. Hey, we still have some time before that thing, right? All right. What? No, absolutely not. I'm telling you, Keith, there's just no replacement. But I can still be good and not go every week, right? Well, then you'd be the first person in history. But I read the books and I listen to only light beard music and I go to Mountaintop every year. And on top of that, I'd have these chats with you, Ambrose. But it can't be about me, Keith. Uh, look, all those things are good things, but they're all just a watered down version of connecting with him. Huh? Him. Oh. Look. When Sun Sun went back to the sky, he didn't tell us to visit Mountaintop once a year. He told us to gather together to remember him. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll go once a week. Happy? Come on, brother. It's not enough to just show up. Meeting together every Sunday isn't just for warping. It's because our job here is to spread the word about him. Meeting together regularly is our best way to talk strategy, to encourage one another to keep up the fight and to, to get stronger for our work ahead. I understand. You're right. Oh, and if you're having trouble, uh, you know, telling people about him, I could teach you a song that could really help you with the... Uh, Keith? Hello? Friends, no matter how difficult things can get, and they will get difficult, Remember who you're representing. Don't carry that lightly. I'm a prisoner, and I'm fine with that because I'm a prisoner for father's son. But you don't have chains. So don't let anything stop you from being humble and patient, gentle and unified. The one we live for is father, son, and syrup, but he is one. So when we follow him, even though we're many, we need to become one. My friend here is saying my time is up. I love you all. <sighs> Ready, boss. Sir, John Marco is on the cone. Oh, sweet, thanks. Is this cool? John Marco, good to hear from you. Hey, how's it going, boss? Oh, I I'm fine. Hey, as long as I got you on the phone, I want you to make sure you find a mentor down in Buckshot County, okay? Why do I need another teacher? I already have you. I'm on the other side of the world. You might not always be able to reach me. Chances are, anywhere you go in this life, you're gonna find someone who's been following father son longer than you, and who knows more about son son than you do. Don't go passing over gold mines, kid. Hey, uh, I gotta go do this thing, but you take care, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Ambrose. Jacks and lumberjills gather all around and thrill to the mystery I bring to set you free. You see, the one we sat and waited on, begotten one of father's son, died and yet survived, and now his work is done. See, in the middle of your little heart, it's dark and cold, and it'll chill and kill. It really will bode quite ill. But he was born and came and died, and he poured his flame and light and heat, so let his name inside, and you will be set free. Oh, that's the mystery.